Hey guys, Shannon here with Got to Go Prepared. Welcome back. It is uh, bone chilling cold out here. Uh, this morning it was 18 degrees, and I believe it's only in about the uh, mid upper 20s at this moment. So of course I've broke out my uh, uh, custom made uh, what do you call them Anirondacks or whatever wool blanket hoodie, <laughs> if you will, uh, keep you very much warm. Uh, but anyway, wanted to do a video today in um, the uh, in the spirit of a couple of other guys on YouTube that are doing these and called us other others of us to come out and do it as well. And what I'm talking about is your top seven uh, wilderness survival items. Now, if you like me, man, seven was really really tough to do, and uh, I've left out things that I really love to have and I have in my bags and have you've seen, but I'm going to go over seven of my favorites and I actually, I couldn't resist, I threw in a bonus at the end. So you have to wait and see that. Now I will tell you, these are not the end all be all, these are not the things you got to have, these are just seven of my personal favorites and I actually took a few of them and um, and combined them together because I kind of felt like they went together um, so put some stuff down in the comments let me know what you think about them uh, let me know what your seven are uh, I love to hear that I love to hear different people's ideas and thoughts on them um, so let's get started and let's go over number one all right here they are the first item I, they're a combined item uh, and I've you know my video so I want to do it my way <laughs> but uh, number one is my sleep system and I, I have a couple different these put together different ways and I picked this one because of the multiple use and also the time of year it is now this does not take into account the things that I'm wearing or my EDC the things that are in my pocket and the uh, everybody knows my one of my EDC things I do carry is my Mobius uh, from VanQuest and uh, it's got a lot of redundancy from the things I'm going to talk about but if I had what I had on me EDC of course and my Mobius which does it goes everywhere with me period uh, if I could grab seven other things that are favorite things to have in a wilderness situation these would be the things I'd want to grab with me so number one is my sleep system and in, in my sleep system and I separated these all out one is the SOL escape bivy now this is the one that breathes it comes in orange and it comes in this olive green um, this is great you can open it up seal it back up it breathes it keeps you warm uh, it's lightweight um, you know of course if I could carry any amount of weight I'd carry my uh, my military sleep system which is much heavier and will keep you extremely warm but if I had to go light had to grab something that I could just have in a small pack wilderness situation I would definitely want this um, the other part to that same kit would be either my Eno or my Grand Trunk hammock. Uh, either of the two, I grabbed this one. Uh, I, I love the Eno. It's the uh, the double Eno, so I can actually grab it around me. So if I'm in my escape bivy, this gets me off the ground. And of course, my suspension system, everything I, I stuff it in here. I, I have the straps, but I created another suspension system using paracord, which gives me extra cordage as well that holds up great not sure if I did a video on that or not I have to go back and look if I didn't I'll make sure I do one when it's a lot warmer and the other part of that sleep system of course that gets me off the ground gives me uh, shelter and warmth is my military poncho this is a uh, older military issue poncho um, it has the grommet holes in it for tie downs this will keep me dry if it's raining but it also will serve as cover to create a shelter so if I put my hammock up and I have my escape bivy to get inside of to keep me warm I would create a a-frame with a ridge line with some of my cordage that I have on me um, to create a, a shelter system and a sleep system to keep me uh, keep me dry and keep me warm uh, through the night so that being number one would be my sleep system uh, that I would have to have with me. All right, number two is right here in my hand. Now, again, I'm going to reiterate this because somebody's going to say something. What about a bigger light or this or that? I carry a couple lights on me. I carry. I usually have the Claris 
light that I did a review on a while back that I carry on me at all times. And uh, I also have a small, another small EDC, couple small lights, one on my keychain and a small cube light in my pocket. But this light makes everything hands-free. I have one of these in different bags. Uh, this is a headlamp. Uh, hands-free. If I'm having to work around camp, build shelter, do anything, and it's gotten dark, I want my hands to be free and still be able to see. And, of course, this one has the colors so I can save, you know, and not be too bright and noticeable if I don't want to be... Uh, very noticeable. So this would be number two would be a headlamp which of course is in addition to my other EDC items. Number three I combined water and container because they kind of go together. So right here and I went ahead and pried this out but is my clean canteen. This is the I believe it's the 40 ounce and I stuff a lot of this stuff inside. It's uh, nest in my Nesbit. It's part of my Nesbit cook system, and I didn't put the the little stove part, but the cup and the lid I do have in here. Is it nest in here? Very very nice. Um, and on the inside, which I took the bag and straw out already because it would take me too long to pry it out uh, on video. But inside, he's trying to get in on the action. Inside here is the Sawyer Mini. 100,000 gallons. I've done. I've talked about these before. They're amazing. They're not very expensive, and I hope I don't go through 100,000 gallons of water in an emergency situation. But that is in here, in addition to my titanium extra long spoon that I, I really love this thing. I just it, it stays in here, so I didn't really omit it. Uh, but you don't necessarily have to include it. And then also in there, some electrolyte uh, stuff, Gatorade powder, which I mean, it just goes a long way if you're drinking the water and you're out to have some flavor but you know not only just flavor but the Gatorade so I'll put the electrolytes and a little energy back in there uh, I also have some little packets they're like um, fruit and vegetable liquid shots I keep those in there uh, they're uh, from a company Neutralite but it's a, a liquid fruit and vegetables that your daily allowance you know you can squirt that in your water uh, so I have something like that in there as well and also makes it taste uh, way way better so um, that number four and that would be a med kit and uh, a lot of people have seen this med kit i brought it out this is always in my mobia so i technically have this with me but i wanted to point it out uh and bring it out again to have a med kit for anybody else you just got to have uh something to take care of um small things and in my kit my med kit's got the small boo-boo things in it it's also got some essential oils and herbal stuff in it that I like to keep with me, especially in the cold time of the year as well. But, uh, you know, I, I really like those, believe in them. I know they work, so I keep those in with the med kit uh, in this kit as well. I didn't grab it, but in if I was going to combine two things and something that's not in my Mobius, but I usually will grab it and keep one in my truck. Uh, or whatever vehicle I'm in and that is a trauma bleed kit. Uh, I know I've talked about it before I mean, it's got the quick clot. It's got gauze. It's got a tourniquet uh, I keep that in a separate kit, but I will I have one in every vehicle and I, I would always grab that and that would go in conjunction with this under number five Number five that will be backup power um I have some other backup power. I have several of them. Uh, one of my favorite battery packs is an Anchor, but at this time I don't have a way to recharge it if I was stuck out. Now I could charge my phone seven times with that Anchor product, but when it's gone, it's gone. Uh, one of the things I'm working on getting and will do a review as soon as I do get it is that goes with my Anchor would be the rollout solar panel that'll recharge it. But for now, what I have is this Burton. Um, you see that? I've showed it in other videos. It has a solar panel on one side and it's a battery bank and it comes with the cords so it does uh, fit my phone so this way I can recharge this in the sun and keep power to my phone that I that I have with me so I would add this in addition to that so this would be uh, a very important thing to have number six number am I on number six or number five I lost the count there's a total of seven plus a bonus. But um, next thing will be a fire kit. Now, 
I picked this one up. I have another fire kit that I've done a video on. Everybody's seen it. It's in the little brown pouch. has everything in it. Um, and it may have one of these in it as well, but I've misplaced it in my move. Uh, but this is one of the things that's that I keep in my fire kit, and I like these. Pick this up at Walmart, and it's a budget item. This is a Murray Superior hair stuff, and it's in a nice metal tin. It doesn't cost very much, but inside of it, I've got... And it's basically a petroleum based and it's all in the bottom but there's room in the top for cotton balls and i've got fat wood and these are actually candles there's there's another one stuffed there's three of them they're trick candles so it's wax but they if you blow them out they light back up again and i like those so that would be a fire kit and, and a tender because you know yeah i can you know bow drill rub two sticks together and, and make a fire if i have to but if i'm in a situation where it's extreme i hope i don't have to do that and of course i carry other fire making utensils on me but having a fire kit and some tinder uh would be very very important of course people know i, I keep a, a torch lighter in my pocket one on my keychain there's a little mini ferro rod on my bracelet this is some another layer of seven kits outside of EDC. Of course, I know I've said that, but I want to reiterate that. So seven, the big one. Of course, y'all been waiting for it. Something to cut with. Now, again, I carry blades on me at all times, um, usually two to three. But this I don't carry with me to work and on my side walking walk into the Walmart it might draw a little bit of attention but my knife this is my K bar BK7 and in addition to that they go together and that's the razor sawtooth folding saw I love this saw it's not the most expensive about 19 bucks at, uh, at Lowe's but you know I've gotten several of these I got one in each one of my bags uh, I've gotten them put them in my family's bags this is so valuable to have if I'm going to have to maybe, you know, sustain myself out there for more than, you know, a day or so. And I need to make a little bit better shelter or anything else I might need to cut. This, I just would want to have this with me. I love this thing. Um, I'm going to stick this here. And, of course, the my knife rig with the BK7, uh, which also has a compass on the back. That would go into addition to the compass that I have in my watch and on my cell phone. Uh, it's got a large ferrocium rod with lots of cordage, extra cordage wrapped around the bottom. And, of course, my my blade, um, the BK7. So th this would be very vital to be able to have this to be able to um, do what I need in, as far as cutting. So this would be number seven. Now, I did promise you a bonus item. Uh, I had to throw it in because when anytime I've been in, in, in the wilderness and woods, camping, hiking, doing anything, the one thing I notice, you're on your knees and on the ground a lot, and they just they hurt. And that's my knee pads. I love these things. And these are my, my really my favorite set of them here. Uh, and the name of them, I probably done ripped it off. I've used them so much. I have another backup pair that I keep on another bag that are they're black. You may have seen. And usually what I do is I typically would leave just wear one on one knee, the knee that's always on the ground. That way, if I did lose or tear up or busted one, I've got a backup for that knee, and I can just keep with one knee. Uh, but these protecting protecting my knees. You know, when I'm around camp or after I'm trying to put together something. Uh, and they also kind of, they're neoprene, and they're foam, they actually keep my knees uh, warm too. You lower your knees, all the crazy crap I did when I was young come, comes back to bite you. So it actually serves a, a dual purpose as far as protecting my knees, but also it does seem to, and these seem to keep my, my knees a little bit warm. Well, hey guys, that's it. There's my seven uh, with a bonus. Uh, like to hear your comments. Let me know what you think. Some things you maybe you want to add to it. Love to love to see those comments. And uh, make sure you check out the Instagram page, Got to Go Prepared, and the Facebook page, Got to Go Prepared. Pre huh, I can't even speak. The Facebook page, You Got to Go Prepared, because you just never know. Hey, until next time, guys. You got to go prepared, because you just never know. And uh, he agrees with me. <laughs>